looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over the Team of the Year promo. The Team of the Year promo is officially live in the game, guys. We've got some Pro Bowl content, some Pro Bowl LTDs, a bunch of stuff to go over. Some packs, some stuff. We gotta get everything. We gotta get into everything, right? Can we pull a team of the year player out of our Good Morning Madden pack? Odds of that would be if you did pull one, guys. Truthfully, if you pull one, go play the lottery instantly. If you're underage, get your parents to go play it for you. Your cousins, your uncles, you're gonna win some. Moving on, guys. I finally got the haircut. A lot better, guys. I know. I was, look, I was looking kind of like I was looking kind of like a troll, kind of like that uh, that troll from Dora that used to be under the bridge. I was looking really hairy. Feels good to be back. Feels good to be. Uh, feels good to not. I don't know. I felt bushy. I, I can't even explain it. But anyways, guys, before we get into the video, make sure you're down below. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe, and of course, always, always smash the like button, guys. And of course, join the Poodle Gang, right? Moving on, though, we got the Team of the Year tab, guys. And as per usual, like I always say, if you do have to do something with the Team of the Year tab or you don't know what to do, head on over to the Team of the Year tab. It'll show you. You get a Nat Team of the Year uh, player for free just by playing the solos. You get your Team of the Year players here by doing sets, which you've earned from playing weekly. And then, of course, the JJ Watt, or TJ Watt, sorry, overall Team of the Year set. Now, the thing is, the thing with this stuff is, is that the Team of the Year player is going to be a little bit different than usual. We have a master this year, which we don't usually have, which is going to be created using Team of the Week players. So, it's not going to be like it usually is. So, if you've been saving up Team of the Year, uh, well, Team of the Week player, sorry, you will be able to put them in there if you have any. They're going to be probably really expensive right now. Like, yeah, 95 overall, Sam Reddick. They're going to be expensive. If you had them already, you probably just made a, probably a bargain, guys. Probably made a ton of coins off that. So definitely be checking all these sets and seeing what you might have. Like, okay, so, oh, you got an 88 to 91. Let's see what I got. I got Emmanuel Agba. Maybe he's going up in value now. Just make sure you are checking it up. It is similar to Precision Heroes in terms of how it's going to go ahead and increase the market. But remember, we have the defense offensive uh, specialist. So defensive players of the year, we have Joey Bosa, Cameron Hayward, Chris Jones, Khalil Mack, Levante David, Demario Davis, Xavier Howard, Bryce Callahan, Jamal Adams. Jesse Bates. Then, of course, on offense, we do have Russell Wilson, Dalvin Cook, Darren Waller, Stephon Diggs, Justin Jefferson, Trent Williams, Quinton Nelson, Corey Lindsley, Brandon Scherf, and Jack Conklin. I will make a video going over later who are my favorite ones in case you guys get fantasy packs and you're not entirely sure, like, oh, which one should I get? If I get these three guys, I'll make a video going over my favorite ones. You guys pretty much go off that. Patrick Ricard, Jason Sanders, Jack Fox, Fred Warner, J.D. McKissick, Grady Jarrett, Trey Hendrickson, Gunnar Olzit. Ol Olszewski, Olszewski, I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. Don't kill me. But moving on. We the Pro Bowl showdown. AFC and NFC, as you guys do know from yesterday, that's just the James Bradbury and, of course, the A.J. Brown. These cards will be obtainable by doing, of course, the solos and the sets and everything and then playing the house rules event and all that stuff. You guys you guys already know the deal with that. Um, now, we do have an LTE today, which I'm going to go check if he is on the block. We have plenty of store offers. I'm going to go over them here. So, of course, no big packs in this area right here. No special offers. Going over to training. Team of the Year Fantasy Pack. Now, this pack contains all 96 overall players. So, pretty much, you just pay it and you get one player. So, not really a great pack because it's not a fantasy. It's a fantasy, but it's not like you pick one of three and you, you, know, you can reroll them. It's pretty much saying you're going to go open this. You're going to be able to pick any of the ones from the entire promo and you just go ahead and get it. So, probably not going to make any training back on that. Now, these are the ones where you could reroll a little bit more. But, again, not really feeling these in terms of that. I would just stay away from all these packs. No fantasy packs here that you can, like, have fun with. So, that kind of sucks. There was, those are always fun in past Maddens. Now, going for the solo challenges. I will be getting these solos shortly done after the video. So, I can go ahead and show you my fantasy pack. Now, you do need 100 stars to get your team of the year Nat fantasy pack. So, if you go through, it will take you approximately, let's see. So, 40 stars, 40 stars. So, you'd have to do specialist defense and some of offense. Now, they are all moment solos, I believe. So, pretty much, you got to go in here and get these done. Requirements win the game. Oh, they're all win the game, though. It's going to take a bit longer because they're all in the game. They all start in the third quarter. So you have to pretty much two clock every game, which kind of does suck, actually. Uh, this, could take a, this could take a few hours. It could take up to, I would say, at least minimum an hour and a half, two hours if you're really fast. Could be longer. I'm going to try to get these all done for you guys, though, so we can go ahead and get on with all that as we're waiting for everything. But, of course, guys, get these done. You want the free player, right? You cannot go wrong with a free team of the year, Nat Fantasy Pack. Now, it's going to be offensive, defensive, specialist, which does mean you will get one hit from each spot. So you can get... So Fon Diggs in one spot, Joey Bosa in the other, and then Gunner on the other, right? You may not want any of those, but you could also get Russell Wilson, 
you could get, um, let's say, Russell Wilson, Xavier Howard, and then Gunner, right? So maybe you want Russell Wilson. Again, it's going to be all preference based on pretty much you're taking the best of what you can find. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to do this for the video for you guys and get all that done. But I'm going to rank them first for you guys in case you guys are getting these done fast. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my solo so I can give you guys that fantasy pack video later on. Um, super excited. Team of the Year fantasy packs, hands down. Whole year mad, one of the most exciting things all year. I wish they would have offered more store fantasy packs like that. Those three hits are so much fun. Like, you know, defensive first, you know, big animation, small animation used to be. Now they're all the same overall, which is a little bit more sad. But nonetheless, it's still super fun. I'm definitely excited to go into that. But it is what it is, right? Now I'm going to go check the auction block, see what these players are going for. Because, of course, the market's going to be acting up a little weird right now. We're going to see if they're crashing, if they're going up. What's the deal with all this? Because, of course, things are going to be a bit different at this moment in time. Uh, we have an unopened pack, so let's go open that. Team of the Year welcome pack. Let's see what the animations are looking like. Will they give us a Team of the Year animation for the pack? Yes, they do. That is super cool, that animation. TJ Watt 83. I like that. Oh, they gave me nothing there. Okay, so this quick sell is for approximately 225 training. Uh, you can usually quick sell unless you're like a brand new player or a budget team that can start them. And there's always a few guys that probably just pick up the game this week for the first time against ultimate teams. So for you guys, start TJ Watt. He'll make plays for you in the solos. Maybe not a line, but you know, that's why they need more uh, overall base matchmaking in that sense. Uh, but then again, that would be bad too, because then batting pros would just get worse teams to verse worse people. No one wins, right? It's just uh, it's just how life works. Um, program, team of the year. Let's go down to team of the year, and let's filter by it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Team of the year. Oh, it's in seasonal. Okay. So 301K for some of the worst ones, I guess, like Levante David, Fred Warner. See what I'm saying, guys? I told you guys to sell, like, Anthony Costanza on those guys for 500K. Because I told you that the team of the year linemen would be super cheap. Now, you might want to be picking some up. They may be at their lowest. They may come back up. Quentin Nelson, great lineman choice. Only 326. Going to be 180K less than Costanza was. Different positions, of course. But, again, that's going to go across the whole line. Um, Brandon Scherf, super cheap. Jack Conling, super cheap. Definitely better values here than they had. I told you guys it would be much better. Uh, Russell Wilson, if you're a fan of him, you know, in Madden, go ahead and pick him up. Now, I do want to see what Watt's going for here because Watt's probably going to be a fair amount of coins here. So let's go see what Master Watt. Okay, so Master Watt's going for 550K. Will probably come down, but also could go up, guys. So if these aren't their lowest price, they go down more. Watt will come down. As well as if they go up, Watt will probably go up with them. Again, Watt might maintain his value, though, because those Team of the Week players are going to be super scarce and being bought out everywhere which is going to just hurt the value of the card overall in, in, a, in, a, in a bad way because it might go up, which is good to get them, but bad if you sell them, right? I mean, sorry, but bad if you're trying to buy them, but good if you're able to uh, sell them. But definitely, definitely cool. Now, let's go check out if the Pro Bowl filter's on there, which I believe it is. Pro Bowl. Okay, so Fletcher Cox is live. Fletcher Cox, 97 overall, limited time for the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's see, 80 speed. Pretty fast for him. 85 excel. Let's go for Fletcher Cox. 96 strength. 96 tackle, 96 play rec, 94 block shed, 96 power move, and of course, 95 finesse move. I'm sorry, 85 finesse move. This is a really good card. I mean, again, it's not going to be worth the 1.8 million price tag. Uh, some people don't even like, most competitive people don't even use defensive tackles. It's just weird what ultimate teams become, right? We don't use middle linebackers. We don't use defensive tackles. It's just weird, right? But Fletcher Cox is good. If we're still using defensive tackles, he's going to be one of the best. Going to be able to have top tier pass rushing, block shedding, tackling, strength, speed, size, now, again, maybe the speed isn't as high as some other guys, but it's definitely good. Like 80 to 85 speed and excel right there is going to be well within the range of usability for a defensive tackle. Definitely not bad at all. Now, guys, like I said, go get your solos done. Go get all that done. Go go start rocking with this whole uh, this whole promo. Make sure you're getting involved. I'm going to go ahead and get those solos done. And we'll make my ranking video first. I have some stuff to finish up, so I'll make that first, and then I'll probably go ahead and get the uh, fantasy pack. Can we get 100 likes on this video, guys? I would greatly appreciate that. If we get 100 likes, I'll make sure to get the ranking video out as fast as possible for you guys. I'll probably go over my top... What do you guys think? Top 5 or top 10? Maybe I'll go over my top 10, guys, so you have more of uh, so a... And the way the set works, guys, like the way my, my list works, it wants to be this. So let's say I do 10 players, right? But you only pull my 8th and ninth player, and the other ones you pulled weren't even my best ones. You can take my 8th or ninth player, right? Or if you pull my number 1 player, and then my 20... Uh, my Not even on the list... Okay, so that's probably the guy you should take, right? You can use my list as like a reference point if you pull any of those guys. And if you pull none of them, the pack probably sucked. But you can still make use of it for your own team, right? But guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the noti bell. Like the video, of course. And smash the like button, guys. Can we get 100 likes? Comment down below. Let me know. Top 10, top 5. Who, who would you prefer? Of course. And let me know who you guys do get out of your fantasy packs in this video or any video throughout the day. But that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>